All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a really long time since I've done any kind of racing or autocross video, especially anything with the Challenger in particular. That's why today I'm here at River City Community Church in San Antonio for Saska Autocross. Saska Autocross is San Antonio Sports Car Association and it's gonna be a really hot one today, guys. Like really hot. I think like 103 is for this area, but anywhere between like 107 is like what they're forecasting for today. So because of that, we have kind of a shallow field. So we might be able to get on track sooner, faster, and get out of here before the temperatures get way too crazy. So what I'm about to do now is get my car ready for tech inspection, get the decals up on there, and uh, get ready to get that done. So enjoy this clip. to touch on today is like how simple this car is to drive like I just drove it here I don't have to trailer it um, unless we're doing something far like we are Mopar in Dallas uh, but I've been able to make this like a really simple seat time car uh, here recently I took the car to Niall Maxwell and I had him do all the fluids engine transmission rear diff and the brake fluid as well as bleed the ABS module because my front uh, driver caliper was actually dragging and it was causing like excessive brake dust and some slight wheel vibrations um, after I did a couple of runs, but now that I did that, the car runs great. Big important thing is like now Maxwell, and I'm not sponsored by them, like I paid for all this. They, uh, they're a Dodge Power Broker dealer, so I went in there and I was like, hey, this is the alignment that I want, these are the services I want done, and they got it done in like three days. So super happy about that. That's another reason why I wanted to bring the car out here, because I wanted to really shake it down and feel my new alignment specs. So as you can see, all I had to do with the car was take everything out of the inside wipe it down, put my class and class number on it. And that's pretty much it. I just gotta take my monster can out of the inside and uh, get through tech and we'll be ready to roll. So we'll see you there. All right guys, so just like I anticipated, there was only like 93 entries, which only made for two heats. And me being in the first heat, which is absolutely awesome. The temperatures are at like 86 degrees outside, which is like, that's really good for the time of year it is, especially knowing that later in the day it's gonna be in those 90s and 100s. So I'm already in grid, uh, as you guys can see. We're already gridded up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my helmet, get my harnesses on. I've already aired down tire pressures. Uh, you guys wondering in the front, I start out at 32 degrees, at uh, 32 psi, uh, and that's on cold tires. And on the rear, this time around, I'm starting at 30. Uh, I find uh, when I get to the higher psi, starting out in the rear, and they warm up to that 33, 34. The car likes to get like super tail happy, especially out here. I call it the, uh, the dust bowl. So we're looking pretty set out here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my helmet on get situated and get ready to hit these runs baby let's do it shirt the cobwebs off my buddy uh, Richard King he rode with me and uh, the problem I've always had with this car is proximity because of how wide it is and I'm taking a lot of the turns just entirely too wide and I'm also braking way too late and I got too much coasting but this is the first time I've driven in a long time but it feels really good so uh, yeah we're gonna jump back in and I'm gonna make those adjustments in my driving and uh, get the times this car deserves
All right, guys, so somebody's fog light fell out and it was glass and there's glass on the course now. So while they clean that up, let's talk about what's been going on with my driving. So this last run, I didn't tighten the GoPro and uh, right when I accelerated, it flipped backwards. So I pretty much, pretty much just recorded the sky. Um, so we're just not gonna watch that one. Uh, but basically, um, I started out with like a 50 something run and I dropped like five or six seconds on my second run. I just needed to dust off the cobwebs and just dive back into this car. Um, definitely feel right back at home it's like riding a bike uh, so feeling really good just a couple different turns that I need to uh, need to master I'm either coming in too hot cutting in too early or cutting out too wide and then it just disrupts the car um, on this last uh, sweeper just last turn around coming into the finish line I tried something different I tried staying closer to the cone but it just kind of threw off the car uh, based on the line that I took and I couldn't carry any speed but I ended up I ended up only losing like a tenth of a second so I was like dang I should have just kept powering through and I would have beat the time prior to that so I've only got two runs left um, cars good tire pressures are set spray down the radiator uh, all the coolers in the front I uh, haven't been spraying down the tires uh, but I did make a change I'm running 28 psi in the rear uh, I feel like it grips up a lot more and I'm still running 32 psi uh, warm so when I go out there they jump up to maybe 33 or 34 depending on how much I'm pushing and those tires heat up but that kind of seems to be the sweet spot I'm not using water because I forgot my water sprayer. If you guys went to our Mopar, we had a system where I'd pull in, we'd spray down radiator, we'd spray down cooler, spray down the tires, and they would stay right where I needed them for every single run for six hours straight. So anyways, looks like we're gonna start running again. So let's jump back in. What'd you think? How'd it look? You know how to drive. That's Man, yeah, you do know how to drive. If I was in that wheel, I would've been going like 20 miles an hour. I, was just about to yeah. I went down, I was like, man, if I was in my Mustang, I'd've really been half to be pushed. Yeah, to get yeah, through yeah. Because that is way yeah, I mean, the car, the car is set up for it, though. Oh, yeah. It's been like, what, four or five years in the making, honestly, yeah. so. That was crazy. That's awesome. Well, that's all, dude, thanks for coming out, man. We'll do a, yeah, we'll do a formal man. video here in a second. All right, guys, so we're back here at home base. Uh, super hot day. I didn't really film anything after my last run because we had to jump quickly into our workstations. We didn't take a break between uh, group one and group two just so we can get out there because it was so freaking hot. Um, but basically, yeah, had to dust off those cobwebs and uh, get behind the seat again. And by my second lap, to be honest, it's like riding a bike, I felt great. I just kept hitting the same cone on the same turn. I just couldn't get my, uh, my approach correct and get the car to turn in the way I wanted it to. Um, but overall, I think my fastest time of the day was a 46. So I think I started at like a 52, um, that first lap, but by the end of the day, I went all the way down to a 46, which is good because it's improvement. Um, I think there was only six cam cars or, uh, the American muscle group. And I think I might've taken fourth, but on every single run I hit a cone. So even though my fastest time was a 46, it was plus one second because I hit a cone. So kind of a bummer, but overall it was really great. 
Now, a really good friend of mine was actually bringing his Mustang out because he wanted to try his hand at autocross, and he also wanted to check out the Challenger and ride in it for the first time. His name is Ethan, but sadly, he had a ton of issues with his car, and he couldn't make it out, which was kind of a huge bummer. Uh, but he did film a video. He filmed some of the portion of uh, him trying to get out to autocross, and he also did an interview on the car, so you can check out this video here. Uh, and definitely see his adventures because he is building his uh, Mustang GT as an SN95 to be a track car, autocross car. Now that he rode in the Challenger and he rode in some other cars out there, he's definitely hooked. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video of the autocross Challenger Shakedown, which is really me shaking myself down behind the wheel because it's been a while. But if you guys come out to We Are Mopar 2022, make sure you stop by the Toronto Racing booth. Come say hi. Come ride in the Dodge Challenger. It's free. And let's just have a good time. And you guys always know, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below, and smash that subscribe button. Till next time, guys. Peace out.